Hernando de Soto comes from such humble background, and yet he became one of the wealthiest conquistadors of his time. Hernando de Soto was born around 1500 in Spain to a poor family. At age 14, he joined Pedrarias de Vila's expedition to the West Indies and sought his fortune in the New World. Hernan de Soto was a military man, and he earned a fortune on his first expedition to the West Indies because he took part in the expedition of Davila to conquer Nicaragua and what is essentially Central America. By the time he was firmly established in Nicaragua, he had political power and also a great fortune. Responding to rumors of gold in what is now Peru, De Soto invested in Francisco Pizarro's expedition to pursue these fabled Incan riches and joined him as his second in command. In 1533, Hernán de Soto was sent ahead to explore the highlands and it's he who discovers the Inca highway to Cusco, which was the Inca capital. Hernando de Soto is the one that with a few men, they go to Cusco and defeat the forces there. And that begins, of course, the end for the Inca aristocracy. After the fall of Cusco, Hernán de Soto took his profits and returned to Spain. When de Soto returned to Spain in 1536 from Peru, he was fabulously wealthy with a massive amount of gold and silver from his share of the plunder of Peru. De Soto settled in Sevilla, Spain, married the daughter of his former patron, Pedrarias de Vila, and lived in luxury. Hernando de Soto was not ready for domestic life. In 1537, he wanted to return to the New World as a governor of Guatemala. Charles V instead sent him to Cuba as a governor of Cuba with an appointment to explore the areas presently known as Florida. After an almost year-long stop in Cuba, De Soto's fleet finally made landfall at Tampa Bay on May 25, 1539. For the next three or four years, Hernando de Soto explored most of present-day Florida, Georgia, Alabama, and more than likely also Arkansas. De Soto is said to be the first European to discover the Mississippi River. After crossing the Mississippi River, de Soto succumbed to fever and died on May 21st, 1542 in present-day Louisiana. Hernán de Soto should be remembered today as an explorer, but also as a conqueror, as a conquistador, with both the positive and the negative of that. The positive in that he opens up territories in the New World to Europeans, the negative that he also poisons many of the relationships between Europeans and the natives by his treatment of them. <laughs> 